Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Range. Now, those of you who've been following the channel may remember that I was having some difficulties with my lovely Mankey Mauser when shooting it. Uh, effectively, what the problem was, was that the extractor was absolutely flat faced and had no bevel on it or chamfer on it whatsoever, which meant that it would only controlled feed, as in when you work the bolt, a round would only could only be chambered if, as you push the bolt forward, the rim rode up under the extractor as nature intended. However, the problem with this is, this is an old rifle, uh, something in the magazine is not quite as it should be perhaps, and what, what happens sometimes is that uh, the round jumps out of the magazine, jumps out of the control of the extractor, and then gets push fed into the chamber and because the front of the extractor was so flat it had nowhere to go. Now I asked around on the Facebook page to people who have lots of Mausers and uh, looked around on Google image search to look at the shapes of Mauser extractors and it turns out there's an awful lot of variety and it seems to be particularly with the military ones and this bolt this is a 1938 pre-war rifle but um, the bolt is not matching and is probably later. Um, I suspect that provided they worked at the moment they left the factory then they were deemed okay. So yes it seems that there's basically three broad types of extractors going on. There's, there's those that will always clip over a push fed round and this is obviously optimal because this gives you uh, a fallback if your control feed doesn't work. You've got controlled feed only, which is what mine was before, and you've got some, which will sort of half-half it, where uh, if you push around into the chamber, it, it won't clip over, but then if you press here on the, uh, on the extractor spring, it will give it just enough clearance that, uh, that, that there's enough chamfer to, to pop over the rim. Um, it seems a real mixture. Anyway, uh, when Lindy Beige was here, uh, he was having a bit of a nightmare with it on the range as well, and I thought, oh, I want to do Mad Minutes with it. So, what harm can it do? So I got the file and the stone out, and I stoned it. And uh, I'll bring the camera out and show you what I did. Okay, so... Uh, take the bolt out there. And uh, compared to the photo of how it was before, what we've done is we've put a fairly substantial chamfer on it. Now, uh, I did this with a, a round, slightly rounded file and then uh, smoothed it off with a stone and the amount of material I took off. I mean, I put this over here and I'll put the, uh, the photo of the original over the other side. I had to do quite a lot of work on it. I had to uh, not only file and stone a, 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 a chamfer on it like that, I also had to scrape back the edge because it was too, it was just too, um, too long and it was really blocking any effort, any, any attempts to, uh, to have it slip over. Now the thing with the, the, with, the thing with pressing the, um, the extractor spring, you can see that if we put it in the locked, well no, unlocked position, and when you push in on it, on the back, it pivots around its, uh, its, its bearing there. And it just, it only comes out a couple of millimeters, but it's enough in a lot of cases. If you've got a marginal chamfer on them, uh, it, 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 uh, it comes out just enough to clip over when you press on it. Now, this, is, this was clearly an issue on possibly not quite as bad as mine was. I think mine was about as worse as it could, as bad as it could possibly be. Uh, but something the Yugoslavs did when they refurbished German-made car 98Ks into uh, M48s was they, uh, they improved and standardized the, uh, the chamfer, the bevel on the, um, uh, on the extractor. Now, in the meantime, I've acquired this uh, post-war commercial Mauser, appears to be uh, Czech-made. So uh, if we compare now with one that is as it should be, it 
Now, this is the one I modified, and this is uh, this is the post-war Czech one. And what I did was I modelled the shape of it as far as possible, given my skill level, uh, with something on on the internet that looks that looks basically like this one does. Um, this appears to be a perfect shape. This one works fine, and in fact, <laughs> that's a that's a 308 rifle, not an 8 mil, and the rounds jump the controlled feed in a basically factory new rifle. That's that rifle's probably only had a couple of a couple of hundred rounds through it. It's 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 absolutely spankers. Um, so uh, now uh, this works as this uh, little semi-aimed, well, not really aimed mag dump should show. It works! It works! So I hope that was at least vaguely interesting. Please like and subscribe and please consider supporting us on Patreon if you haven't already done so. Uh, all help from patrons is very, very gratefully received and is turned into ultimately a uh, film footage on YouTube for you to watch. So uh, thanks to the patrons and thanks to you for watching and see you later. Bye.